Oh, hey guys, what's up? Hey Avery, it's good to see you. Good to see you. Can we come in? Yeah, come inside. Just threw on a pot of coffee. Coffee, huh? What, what coffee are you brewing? Today, it is the Starbucks Tribute Blend Limited Edition. Ooh, what kind of mug you got there? Shameless plug, of course. Jeremiah's coffee. So tell us a little bit more about who you are. About who I am? Well, um, I work at Starbucks, so I make quite a bit of coffee. I'm the youngest of four. That's all my siblings and my parents. And um, I make music. And is music what sort of brought you to Christ? Um, definitely was a part. Um, I was fortunate enough to kind of grow up in the church and found God at a really young age. I think it was at a sixth grade summer camp. Tell us a little bit more about that experience of you coming to know God. Yeah, it was amazing. Um, it definitely um, was found in worship and I think really inspired me to become a worship leader. So. so how long have you been a worship leader or songwriting? Um, been worship leading for about five years, been songwriting for seven years. So. That's a lot, pretty long time. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> During that period, uh, what's been your favorite song that you've written so far? Ooh, I don't know if I could just pick one, but what I can tell you is I'm pretty excited for this new song to drop. And are you excited about your blue drapes? <laughs> are these uh, your favorite color? Um, I do like them, but I would say my favorite color would probably be olive green. And about these tigers, would you uh, be a tiger if you could be any animal? Um, well, so that's Lenny and Louie. Um, tigers are dope, but I think I'd be a giraffe. And this room is a whole. Has this been your room your whole life? All 19 years. I uh, shared it with my brother at first, and then now it's just mine. So, so where do you see yourself in 10 years? Um, probably not in this room. If I had to take a guess, um, I hope to be married and maybe have a kid and one on the way. And obviously you play a lot of different instruments, so is guitar your favorite instrument? <sighs> Picking a favorite instrument is kind of like picking a favorite child. Um, almost impossible to do, but if I did have a favorite, let me show you. Probably be this, acoustic piano. And what makes the acoustic piano so special to you? Um, well, so this one's special because I actually found it on the side of the road, um, paid $20 for it, about five houses down, and I've written a lot of songs on this specific piano. So do you find a lot of inspiration from yard picking or yard sailing? <laughs> uh, no, I only do that on occasions. <laughs> so tell us about what inspired Sinners and Saints. Um, well, so I wrote it in 2020. Um, at the time, this piano was actually in my garage. It's where I spent a lot of time um, just kind of playing around on it. And for that specific song, I really just wanted a song that our youth group at church could sing and um, kind of sing over their, their friends and their family that don't know Christ. So. And what is your biggest hope for the song of Sinners and Saints? Um, I just hope it finds ears that need to hear it. And it can, it can encourage uh, believers of all ages and just encourage and strengthen their walk with God. And if you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Well, I'm a fan of uh, Arizona, really am. But if I had to pick somewhere else, maybe Paris. Mm, bonjour. Oui, oui. <laughs> so for a young adult, out there that might be inspired by you or maybe wants to be a songwriter or a worship leader, what would you say to encourage their journey? Um, go for it. I would say, um, you know, really, really find God in it. Um, be in the word, keep songwriting, keep worshiping and just get plugged into your local church. So back to Paris. Is French food your favorite food? Maybe one of them. And what about coffee? Is coffee your favorite drink? Absolutely. Coffee. Forgot about my coffee. I think it's probably getting cold by now.